gonna take the full work drill that we just applied, and now we're gonna add the arms, the power punch through, and what we're looking to do at the back side of the tackle. So here we've got Brooklyn on the bag and Kennedy coming up to make the tackle. So Kennedy, as you're approaching the tackle, first, what are you thinking with respect to your foot and your shoulder? Okay, excellent, a positive tackle. So in this case, let's use your left shoulder so they can see what you're doing. So you come in, left foot, same foot, same shoulder. Notice she sinks her hips. She's in a powerful position and she's gonna punch her arms through. Look at her head. Her head's in a great neutral position, super strong. Now, from this position, Kennedy, what are you gonna to try to achieve? Yeah, she's trying to attack the back leg. So she's chasing the back leg. Now, when you chase the back leg, Kennedy, nice and loud, what does that do to the rest of you? Yeah, so she's in a strong position, and then because she's chasing that back leg, she maintains leg drive. Just demonstrate what that would look like, and then the lasso, go ahead. Excellent. Now, let's take a look at that in speed. Kennedy and Brooke are two of our best tacklers, so let's see what it looks like. Excellent. Now, you can see when these two girls hit the bag, you can hear the air coming out of the bag. You can hear the impact and then the positive leg drive going forward. And that's what we're looking for by chasing that back leg. Let's see what the rest of the groups look like. What we're gonna look at now is the cutback tackle. So this is very important in our game for a number of reasons. One, if we're playing against a very athletic ball carrier, he's gonna to try to create a weak shoulder. Our tackler, these guys are both in grade nine, what are you gonna to try to do with this attacker? What are you gonna to try to control? Exactly, so you're gonna control where he goes. So if you line up on him, what are you focusing on? His inside hip. Forcing him to that space so you're in control. But again, playing against a superior athlete, he may cut back. And what we have to count on here, if we're gonna make a good tackle, what are you gonna count on when he cuts back? My footwork. Your footwork. And again, it's this split step that we've done a million times. So let's walk through this to show the correct mechanics of it, and then we'll apply it in a dynamic situation. So we're gonna start off, again, go, dance, go. Buster is going to try to control Carter, but Carter's going to do a cutback. I'm going to ask Carter to stop once he makes the cutback. Okay, let's see it, boys. Stop. Now, as you can see, Buster went same foot, same shoulder. Put that foot in. No, but that's still pretty, you're in good shape. He's still square, and then Carter cut back on his weak shoulder. Now, because his feet are underneath his shoulders, and he's in a good balanced position, rather than reaching across on the tackle and putting his neck in a dangerous position, all Buster does is the split step, left foot going forward, and now he tackles with his left shoulder. His head's in a safe position, his core is square on the tackler, and he's in a way more dynamic, positive tackle position. Let's see what it looks like at pace. All right, so Carter, if you were gonna give Buster feedback, uh, what did you think of this tackle? Uh, it was quality and he maintained. He maintained leg drive and it was positive, right? Now Buster, if you were giving Carter some feedback, what did you see in his tackle? Uh, he broke down a little bit. Next time he should probably he should keep his feet moving. Yeah. Stay a little, keep his feet under it. Hey, excellent. I like those two points. Over committing, meaning overstepping, and then it makes it difficult for the split step. So if he keeps his feet underneath him, and then maintaining that leg drive. Hey, we all know when we've worked with Butch, he's always hammering that leg drive going forward, leg drive going forward. All right, well done. What we're gonna look at now is a live dynamic situation. What we do here at ASAD and what we want to happen with Ontario is we go through these progressions for technique, and then we do six live 100% tackles. Two on the right shoulder, 
two on the left shoulder, two cutbacks. Let's see what they look like. Okay, we, this is our favorite part of our defensive work. For fun, we always put a couple of suits on the ball carrier because we are looking for contact here. We're gonna be the best defensive team in Canada and that's gonna take us to the next level. So you have to take pride in your tackling. You have to wanna make a dominant tackle and it all starts in practice. We only accept 100% effort in the ball carrier and the tackler going through our correct technique, maintaining leg drive, dominant hammer tackle. Again, like ETS guys say, we're trying to build hammers on this team. And this is the me part of team defense. You've got to make your tackles. Let's see what it looks like. Here we go. We're going to look at Kalen here now. He's one of the great tens in our program. He's put on about 25 pounds of muscle in ETS this winter, and we're going to see how that translates into his tackle. Okay, we're making him into a destroyer. Here we go. Up, up, up! And again, Getting off your feet after you make a tackle is the most important thing you do because it's next task. Where in your relation to the ball? How can I make a difference? What's my next task? Complete the tackle, get on your feet, play rugby. Look at Kennedy now. She's one of our best technical tacklers. Watch her hip placement, how low she is, how she maintains leg drive, and her technique through the tackle. Our final me exercise is working on the double tackles or the tackle assist. So in this exercise, you'll see we have two colored bags. One green, one black. Green, black. We have three defenders. On set, the boys are gonna set their defensive line and then I'll say hit. Again, they're gonna work on firing off the line with their line speed. I'm then gonna say the color of a bag. So. Our defensive principles, if you're on the ball, Hayden, what type of tackle are you going to do? Low. Low dominant tackle on the thighs. Now, Brock, if you're the tackle assist, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm going to come in, make that second impact, so first guy's going to go low, I'm going to go high. I'm going to try and eliminate the, uh, the ball, so if we're going to offload right there. Excellent. So we're going to try to eliminate the offload option as well as putting two sets of leg drive and getting a dynamic tackle to drive the people back off the line. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Hey, block! Let's go. Okay, let's rotate again. So we want to think when we're coming in as the tackle assist, we don't want to come on a flat angle. We want to come from behind over top so we get dynamic leg drive going forward. Let's see what this last one looks like. Sink. Set, set. Head, head, green. All right, coaches. So those are the core exercises our ASAD group and what we would like the Ontario age grade groups to do every practice. So again, we're trying to build hammers. We're trying to build individual tackle technique so that our me part, we look after ourselves. We have that mindset, that culture, that we will not be beaten on a one-on-one -on -one tackle. We added in the tackle assist today as part of that individual core skill work. And on the next series of videos, we're gonna look at the we. We're gonna look at the team concept the team organization of defense so that we're impenetrable. Thanks for today. Great job, guys. See you next time.